Hi everyone, I'm going to show you something that's really useful for the, the winter or the fall cold um, weather coming. So I have a sock right here. I got it there, um, the knee sock all the way up um, at the Dollar Tree. Everyone, it's all kind of different sock in there. I'm going to um, show you how to make your arm warmer. How to make an arm warmer from the knee sock. So you can purchase this sock from the Dollar Tree. It's um, this is sci-fi to nice shoe. So you're going to take one out, show a new one, and then you can do the other one. So my, I would do from the heel side to down here. So I measure my my thumb into the the knuckle of my index finger so i'm going to cut from there so i'm going to cut right here everybody but everybody different the safe side to do i'm always safe this for the um, snowman hat in the winter time making with my kid if you wear a ring or whatever, try this on, you can take off your ring because it's gonna st stuck inside of these kind of stitch in here. So you go on to try it on. Make sure this turn into your thumb side. This is perfect, you see? That's how I measure my thumb and then my index finger right there. So I know this is the right length for me. So I'm going to Cut this. What I do, I'm going to go to the heel right here. Fold it like this. It has the guy right here with the color. Our sock has this thing. I'm going to cut about half an inch. Right, round this area right here, just about half an inch. Just like that. You see half an inch and it's come out nice. Okay, so now I have the lace. I'm going to use this lace. Make sure the lace has the right side and the wrong side. The one that you put your thumb in here, your finger, and then you feel it, it's smooth. Then that's the right side and then it rough. that's the wrong side. So make sure after you cut the after you cut the um, sock out, you go on to get the candle, and then you go on to get it go right at the um, the end right here, so it won't it will hold the end for you. And don't worry, it go on to curl up like that, so it won't come down to your skin when you wear it. I just want to make sure that it won't fray and it'll block this from falling the stitch out when we sew. So make sure you do this to everyone. Don't go right into the fire. Just go at the end right here. The outside of the fire right here. The candle. It's a safe way to do. So do this and then it will curl, it's curl up for you. Make it easier. Very nice. So now you can see the sock is all like this, curling up like this. It's so nice. Do the side to everyone. Do on the heel too, the thumb side. You're going to do both of them because you have two arm, everyone. So do this and then you're going to add the lace to it. I'm going to do the back stitch, everyone. So you're going to do is you're going to fold and leave just just do this bleed all around but leave about half an inch at the end here and then you start right at the end here of the sock you're going to place this one in get your dress and needle ready so i'm going to hide this underneath here what i do i'm going to slide the needle underneath here.
then do that so now it's in here you go on to move forward every time you move you go on to fold this sock like this i mean the lace like this and then you move so i'm gonna move forward so i'm going to work like this and hold my thumb right there and then i just slide the needle like this then i make a new one just continue to do that all around the sock or you can use um, make it easier for you i suggest you to do the basting stitch first which mean that you're doing this and then you run the basting stitch all over before you sewed it in like this you keep sliding it in you just make it easy very easy to do all you need to do is just pay attention to it just please like this everyone like this you see i'm always leave my finger right here and so i slide my needle underneath the sock and then the fabric too i mean the lace and then i just pull i'm using this almost the same dress at the lace underneath here you see how nice that is look at this i'm gonna bring the camera closer so you can see so if you are not comfortable with the way i do then do this right do this instead of doing the basin sit right i mean the um the back stitch right away you go on to do base and stitch all around so you make sure everything is stay there. Go slide down. Make sure that your dread on top of the grease that you just did right here. Always. So it can hold us down. You see how nice this is right now? Continue to do that until you finish this. This is really relaxing. You can do everywhere you want. You can do it outside, indoor, outdoor, everywhere. So beautiful. And go all around. You make this and you're going to make a lot. Your kid, your family, your people, mom, forgive. For, um, for Christmas stocking, put in the stocking, that'd be awesome. So slide the needle all the way, put your thumb right there, and then slide it backward. You see, because I want this stick to, to hold the piece down, so that's why I'm holding my thumb there all the time. So when we do fun activity and very useful stuff, we use the Dollar Tree material. And then from here, you know, like about half an inch, you can just move it back like this. And continue to do that all over the area here where's your um your hand gonna be it's gonna be so pretty and you go on to do the exact the same thing to the thumb here the other thing i want you to do is i want to make it easier for some people who um beginner for hand sew you can do this first and then after that you can just put on the um, on the uh, fabric and then you start to sew so you can just sew it in like this you're going to please this first gonna get the dress go through here and then go in between those two just to block this so i'm going to pull a knock here 
and then start sewing. Make it first, and then the next thing you do, you're going to just sew it into this um the the sock, and it'll make it easier for you if you want to do this. This is the other option you can do. You do this first. You bring it in, sew it in. So an extra step for you, but it's worth it for you. If you want to learn, you have to find a way that it works for you. The hand is done. So now I'm going to bring it back in here. I have to find a good side, I mean the, the, the right side to stay out. So this is it. You're going to go around. Hold this together with the thumb area and then sew it in. And I'm going to you a back step for this everyone. more thing right here when you get into the end where the two choice together you're going to fold this one in from the other side that from the beginning when you sew this one right here you also have to do the same thing you're going to fold it in overlap a little bit on the other side and then that's it you have it right here you're going to join them together just like this I was sewing and I almost done and I'm like, oh, I have to show you because people, some people may not know what to do with the joys here. So this is how you do it. You join them together. And after that, after you fold the two ends together, you go on to sew this line in just like I'm doing right now. Use the same thread color. You see the dress I use exactly the same with the, the with the lace. Here I'm using the knock and I'm going to get out. And now I'm done with one side of the arm warmer and you're going to do the other one. Very easy and relaxed. I bet your kid, your family, if you live in the cool area when the cold weather come in, you're going to love it. I'm going to put it on. This is good for driving too. You can wrap on the steering wheel. It's going up all the way. I'll put it up here. I'm showing you. All the way up to my elbow. And it's coming down here. So nice. Isn't it so cute? Beautiful arm warmer that you can make by yourself. So beautiful. Thank you for watching everyone this way. I don't need to do any makeup for my modeling. I did just for my hand. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and help us um, grow 100,000 subscribers by the end of November, everybody.